His reaction will give us a clue to his intentions. Yes, Master. Ender's Game. Ender, Ender, Ender. Game, Game, Game Enders. Ender's Game. So this movie is about... They decided to grab a bunch of kids who loves playing Call of Duty and Halo and Rainbow Six, etc, etc. So they bring all these motherfuckers in space to train to face the alien invasion or something. And they train them for like hours and days and weeks and months. All that bullshit. And this kid right here, Ender, is the chosen one. And all that shit. And um, Harrison Ford is like the boss of the, the fucking ship. With this big black guy who's like a giant gorilla or something. And he's always pissed off. He wanted to beat the shit out of the kid. And this movie did have like a lot of upcoming actors in this film. Asha Butterfield, Haley Steinfeld, Moses Arias, or Moses Arias, or they pronounce his last name. Everyone else. I mean, there's like the, the Asian kid, uh, I think it was Brandon Suhu or something. He, he, he had some like other roles after this. Well, not like big roles. But he still, he still has time to get bigger, you know. But yeah, this movie is just—I don't know. I, I don't really fuck with this movie. I only watch it when I'm like, there's like nothing on TV. I'll just watch it. I don't hate it or anything. I don't think it sucks. This shit's—it's okay. It should be like a lot better than this. And just the whole time they're just practicing and shit. But, it's like most of the time in this movie they're just practicing how to fucking face the uh, aliens and all that whatnot bullshit. They hire like a bunch of fucking kids. Go into space. And kill shit. Well, like I said, it's mostly practice. But it is Ender's game. It's his game. So he do what the fuck he wants. It's his fucking shit. So yeah, he... He started from the bottom and he goes up to the top. As in, you know... He, he wasn't a leader yet until later on in this film because everyone started knowing he's like the smart one of, the, of all everybody then he got he got he went upper he went to the different place now these higher kids and this one kid is like butthurt and jealous of him or something this really short kid played on more Moses areas he was like really butthurt with him and shit and he, he didn't want him to become the leader and shit because he's jealous he's jelly and Haley Steinfeld is like his buddy and shit. Asha Butterfield's buddy, buddy, and they train with each other and all that. And Moses Arias gets 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 pissed off about it. He didn't like that at all because he's like, I'm the leader out here. You do what I say. All that other bullshit. Like later on, they get in a fight with each other. And he cracks this kid's head open accidentally, and he gets surgery on his head. Blah blah blah. And there's other times where uh, Ender is playing some fucking some weird game or something like it's some uh, Lord of the Rings or something he was playing. And this other kid decided that he wanted to watch it with him and whatnot. See how he does shitty or something. But he doesn't. He fuck up one time, then he does it the good a second time and blah blah blah. I don't know what's really crazy about this movie. It just, I don't know, I find it's like really boring though. Like I said, I don't think it sucks. It's just pretty boring. It's just all about training, this and that. There's no really a real deal going on. Unless I missed something. Because I, I watched the whole fucking movie. Mostly nothing really much happened there. Let me see. Well, who else is in this movie? I think I saw also that black lady. She's like an airy fucking film. Hang on. Hang on. Oh yeah, Ben Kingsley. That's another guy who was in this movie. He was this fucking, uh, well, uh this monk guy or something. He's like a monk. Later on the film, and he just like sits there in the meditation mode, and keeps he keeps like flipping around. Uh, Asha Butterfield's character keeps like flipping around like a like a pancake or something like that, using these moves against them, these uh, fighting moves. I'm like, really? <laughs> like, he like flipping around like a fucking uh, a rag doll and shit. That was funny as fuck. And like uh, then. Ender started bitching up to the the captain and this shit. He wanted to see his sister again, so he decided to bring his ass fucking back home and shit just for I guess one day on the fucking boat and start talking to her and blah blah blah. 
She's played by Abigail Breslin, who's also in Zombieland. She does like other shit. She she she's another upcoming actor at the time. You know, she was in Zombieland before Ender's Game. She's still an upcoming actor. Oh yeah, the uh, the black lady, uh, Viola, Viola Davis. I never really liked her as an actress. I she just she just dared to be there. I, I just never find her like exciting or anything like that. She just. She's just there. She's like a board. She's like as stiff as a board. I just never liked, liked her acting at, at all. I mean, there's so many better black female actors you can pick. You went with Viola Davis. I don't know. I just, I just don't like her as an actress that much. You know, I'm fine. Everyone else does, but me, I'm just not. I'm not really a fan. So I said something about that before in Suicide Squad about the same thing about Viola Davis acting. It's not really that crazy about her. Like I said, I don't think she sucks, it's just that I'm not a fan. <sighs> and this is based off a book, you know, of course it is, right? That's how most of everything is now, everything's just based off books. Instead of writing your own goddamn movie. And this is written by Orson Scott Card, who wrote this fucking... I think it was him, right? And the director is Gavin Hood, who else did a whole bunch of other things, I think. Yeah, Ender's Game. It's on TV at times, and not all the time. Sometimes it's on TV and they play it. I'm surprised because I don't think anyone really gave, gave a shit about this movie. Because see right here, the budget is like 115 million, and they only made like 125 million in the box office. So I guess it's, I guess that's all right, you know. Even though this does says it's a box office bomb. Because it did, I mean, it passed it by a little bit, but not that much, to be fair. And there's also supposed to be a potential sequel to this film, but the, the book, the author guy who wrote the film, not wrote the film, wrote, wrote the book, he said he doesn't want the sequel to come out because he thinks it's too terrifying for people to watch or something. I, I don't know what it is. But that's what he said. He said it's like too terrifying because he don't want that out there because of that. That's what I read. Like me, what me? I don't read books, you know. That's for that's for everyone else to do. But yeah, Ender's Game. It's it's okay, but it's pretty boring though. I think they're waiting till Asha Butterfield gets like in his thirties or something, and then make like adult film. He's like a grown up or something for the second movie or something. Like, like that's what it is. To wait until he gets like a grown up, like a full grown up, like thirty something, at least. That's what they're waiting for. I, I, I'm guessing that. Sperm whale jizz, fucking gross. <laughs> Jump!